The deep ocean, as many of you know, is a mystery to the scientific community. Not much is known about it, but what is known about it is that there are very frightening creatures down there that we do not know much about. Therefore, we're going to talk about 15 of the weirdest deep sea creatures. And when I say deep sea creatures, I mean anything on this list can be found at depths of over a thousand feet. Let's dive right in. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Number 15, the helmet jellyfish. The helmet jellyfish grows to a little over a foot in length and it is found very deep in the ocean at depths of up to 23,000 feet. They are pink in color and like most deep sea specimens and many of the creatures on this list, they use bioluminescence. These jellyfish have 12 long tentacles that they can actually point in the same direction that they are swimming in. And these jellyfish are very interesting because they skip the polyp stage of life that most jellyfish species all go through. And instead, these jellies just hatch straight out of the egg into tiny versions of the adults. Number 14, the Pompeii worm. The Pompeii worm can live in some of the most intense conditions on Earth extremely deep in the ocean where the pressure is astoundingly high and around hydrothermal vents where the water can get hot enough to cook a human alive. The Pompeii worm thrives here and it is around four inches long and hangs around hydrothermal vents in the Pacific Ocean. I know what you're thinking. How does the worm do it? Well, it actually has a symbiotic relationship with filamentous bacteria the bacteria lives on the worm and eats the mucus of the worm while also acting as a protection from the very harmful chemicals around the vents. Number 13, the Dumbo Octopus. If you know anything about the deep sea, then you have probably heard of this wonderful animal. The name Dumbo Octopus actually refers to a genus of these animals. There are about 15 species of Dumbo Octopus out there I did not know about that, but I found it kind of interesting. They are the deepest living species of octopuses that we know of, living at depths of up to 13,000 feet below the surface. The Dumbo octopus earned its name for its flapping ear-like appendages on the mantle or body of the animal. A fun fact about these amazing animals is that Unlike normal octopuses, these cephalopods do not have an ink sac because they do not run into predators that much in these depths. Number 12, the Goosefoot Starfish. The Goosefoot Starfish looks exactly like a goosefoot, hence its name. It is a flattened species of starfish which can be found as deep as 1500 feet and usually it is beneath the sediment or sand or sometimes the smaller ones are under shells. They feed on small crustaceans and invertebrates, and not very much is known about these creatures. They are found near Britain and near the East Coast, and they are covered in very small spines called paxillae. Number 11, sea lilies. The name and their appearance may be deceiving, but these are in fact animals and not plants. Sea lilies live as deep as 4,000 feet, and they are related to feather stars. They come in many different colors and they can be found in the Atlantic Ocean and once they have settled on the sediment as planktonic babies, they tend to remain there for the majority of their lives. But they have been seen using their feathery arms to drag themselves across the bottom, as shown here, to escape predators like some sea urchin species. They also use these arms to capture floating plankton which drifts by in the water which they then consume for energy. Number 10, the sea lamprey. These nightmares of the ocean are related to the hagfish which means that they are a type of jawless fish and they are truly terrifying creatures. They are very eel-like and grow up to four feet long 
and they have been found as deep as 2,000 feet below the surface. But they actually spawn in rivers, meaning that they begin life in freshwater and then go out to sea as adults. They are scavengers and can act as ectoparasites as well, meaning that they attach to animals using their sucker-like mouth and consume the flesh and blood of these unfortunate hosts. Number 9. The Chimera These animals are related to sharks and rays, but they are very, very different from them. They have only four gill slits, and there are only about 50 species of this fish known. They are found at depths usually below 3,000 feet, therefore we know very little about these weird creatures. They grow to around 4 to 5 feet on average, and they use electroreception to hunt their prey, much like their relatives the sharks do. They eat mainly invertebrates that live on the seafloor, and they eat them using three pairs of tooth plates, which also sets them apart from their relatives. Number 8, the coelacanth. This bony fish is a living fossil and has been around since the dinosaurs were around, and can be found as deep as 2,000 feet below the surface. These fish can reach 6 feet long and weigh over 200 pounds. Scientists have actually discovered that these ancient fish hide in caves during the nighttime and have been seen a handful of times around the coasts of Africa. This fish is critically endangered as listed by the IUCN, and they eat squid and smaller fish. They are also related to the lungfish. Number 7. The Barrel Eye This fish is possibly one of the weirdest animals on the planet, and it is a fish with a transparent head that looks fake, but it is not. Its eyes are inside the head and point upwards, and they are barrel shaped, which helps account for the name of this creature. This fish can rotate its eyes inside its head and can look forward instead of just up as well. The eyes are facing up when they are searching for food, but they face in front of the fish when they are eating. Their large, flat fins allow for them to be completely still in almost any water in the deep ocean. Which brings me to my next point. These fish are ambush predators and wait for the prey to come to them. Number 6, the lovely hatchet fish. These fish live as deep as 2,000 feet and they are almost invisible to predators at this depth because of the coloration of this fish. The silver color allows it to blend into the light and they are very thin when looking at the fish from the top or underneath. It is almost impossible to see. For its size, this fish has very large eyes to help it see in the darkness and it goes to shallower waters at night to feed on zooplankton. Number 5, the Atlantic Wolf Fish. These fish are very vicious looking and this is partially due to the fact that their teeth are protruding from their closed mouths. They almost look like eels because of their lengthy bodies but they are actually more closely related to blobfish than eels. They get fairly large at up to 5 feet long and they eat large marine invertebrates like crabs, snails, and more. These fish live in very cold waters in the northern Atlantic and their blood possesses many compounds that do not allow the animal to freeze. They are very protective of their eggs during the breeding season and a pair of wolf fish will guard their eggs with their lives. Number 4. The Viper Fish Viperfish look very similar to the black dragonfish, and they are another deep sea monster. Living at depths of up to 5,000 feet, these fish only usually grow to around a foot long, therefore they do not pose any type of threat to humans. These animals have photophores on the sides of their bodies, which they use to attract prey to them. What is interesting about viperfish, and what sets them apart from other deep sea fish, is that they can see color like humans can which gives them a very large advantage in the deep depths of the ocean. Also, these small fish can apparently live to be 50 years old. Number 3, the fang tooth. This fish has the largest teeth in comparison to its body size of any fish in the world and it is truly terrifying. They only grow to be a few inches long 
and they are among the deepest living fish at depths over 9,000 feet. The younger fangtooths look nothing like the adults. Even though they look like they want to kill you, they are simply way too small and they would never even have the possibility to hurt a human being. The two large teeth in the center and on the bottom of the fish's mouth, which look like fangs, fit into a cavity in the brain when the fish shuts its mouth. Number two, the coffin fish. These fish are related to the frogfish that is found in shallow coral reefs, but these fish live much deeper than them. They are ambush predators with a lure like an angler fish, and they use the lure to attract prey within range to attack and swallow them whole. These fish can actually, in a way, walk on the seafloor using their special fins. They are red in color, and honestly, they kind of look like a berry to me, in my opinion. Now, before we get into number one, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, everybody. Number one, the colossal squid. One of the, if not the largest invertebrates in the world, the colossal squid is a true monster. Growing up to 40 feet long and weighing over a thousand pounds, this beast is the stuff of nightmares. On the feeding tentacles, there are hooks that are very pointed and sharp, and these squids are sometimes mistaken for giant squid, which it shares many similarities with. They are found in surprisingly cold waters around Antarctica and are very hard to find due to their hard to get to location. They live more than a thousand feet below the surface and they likely eat several pounds of fish per day and battle with sperm whales like their cousins do. Not much is known about this species. Thank you all for watching this video, and comment down below what your favorite creature was on the list. 